Right, we have here the Vita Express Mobility Scooter. This is how it would come to you in this type of box, just like this, on a pallet like this. It's called the Vita Express. Now be careful, there's a lot of Vita scooters out there. This is the Vita Express four-wheel scooter, and we're going to show you how to get it out of the box. Uh, this is my first time, so bear with me. So all you will need is probably a box cutter. So what I usually do is I try to cut the plastic off first. So once you have the plastic out of the way, and then you have these two straps, one of them's already broken. You have these straps here, just cut them off. Then if you have this little cap on top here, just take it off. got that out of the way. The next thing I would do is I would cut the, the box on the outside like this and like this. Then I'll go over the middle. Now there is some some uh, staples on here. You be careful. So what you will do is you'll pull this off and be careful with the staples. They're all going to be sticking out. Don't cut your hands over here on these staples. They're large staples. Pull it open. And when you have the box open like this, we'll see what's inside. So you'll pull this cover, this, this uh, top cardboard off. The next thing you'll do, you'll pull the seat out without, what you're going to have to be careful is these staples right here, they're, they're already touching me. So be really, really careful. The seat is in here. So the first thing I would do next is get everything that's loose in here out of the way. So we have the basket here with the charger, the mirror. We have the headrest that's loose. Take those out and put everything on the ground away from your away from your cardboard. So all your pieces are there. Okay. And the tiller, you will unwrap the tiller like this. This is the tiller here. Unwrap it. And right below your tiller, there's a handle right here. So when I went under there, I pull the handle down, pull your tiller up. Get the rest of the plastic out. Okay, now, we've got the seat on here. This seat is about 40 pounds. So what I'm going to do to make it easier on myself, is I'm going to cut this box so I don't have to lift this as high. So what I usually do is I like to go over here with my box cutter cut the outside of the box like this away from your hands okay I'm gonna cut the outside again right here I'm gonna cut the outside over here again and now you've got this it's one cardboard that goes all the way around the scooter, so if you just cut it, we're getting there folks. So now, it's a lot easier. So take your cardboard, put your cardboard on this side. Anything that you're not going to use, put it on that side. Okay, so now we've got the seat. Now the seat's going to be a lot easier to grab. I'm going to grab the seat. I'm going to put it down. I'm going to take the plastic off the top. Take the plastic off the arm. It's a beautiful seat, by the way. Look at that. I'm going to put it down, and I'm going to crank it up. So it's sitting in the up position. I'm going to put it there for now. I'm going to take the rest of the boxes out. I'm going to 
take the rest of the plastic. Okay, so now the keys are right here. I can see the keys right there. So what I'll do, I'll cut them off. So you have two keys. So I'm going to put them in just to see if the batteries are connected. So the keys go right here. Turn the key on and the batteries are connected because I can see the light on the scooter right here. Okay? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to move this garbage. It's not supposed to be on this side. I want to put the garbage with the garbage. I'm going to take the headrest and just move this back. And now I'm going to see if the scooter will go forward off the pallet on its own. And it does. So now we've got the scooter off the pallet on its own. I'm going to back it up a little bit so you can see it again. So you do have a reverse. So the batteries are already connected. So the only thing you'll have to do now is they have this cover over here also. So you'll have to cut this little tab off. So we can get this uncovered. There's a little tie down, a little zip tie around it. Cut it off. This is exposed so you can put your seat on here. Then you're gonna take your seat and you're gonna bring your seat over here on top of your pole, just like that. And then you raise it up, it'll fall on. You have a handle here, okay? The arms right here are down, and the way you set up these arms on this scooter, right below the arm right here, there's a little lever. If you turn it, you can see the arm going up right now. There's a little lever. Keep turning until you get desire, the desired height on your arm. So just keep flipping that lever, that little round ball there. So those are pretty good. I'm going to move the seat back a little bit, okay? You'll still have to take the plastic off the side here. And then you'll take your headrest. You'll put your headrest on. You'll take your basket, put it on the seat if you want to. You have your charger which plugs right over here and you have your two mirrors so again they have this on a little zip tie so just going to cut that off and i'll do one mirror right now to show you where the mirrors go the mirrors go right here there's a slot on both sides so you put your mirror in and you turn it okay now there's a screw at the bottom of the mirror right here, okay? It's adjustable. You can see the, you can see I'm turning the screw right here, okay? So get the mirror where you want it like this and then tighten up your screw. Don't come over here and pull the mirror, you'll crack it. So get the mirror in the position you want, then you can use a little, your little, I don't know if it's a nine, uh, probably a 10 millimeter and adjust this bolt right here so the mirror stays right there in position. We'll do the other mirror too. So I've had people put these mirrors on. And then they go all the way like this to the end. And then they try to bring it all the way around. And you see how it's locked? So just loosen up that screw right here. Then you can bring it to whatever position you want. Okay? And this thing will turn here like this. So if it's facing the opposite direction, you can just turn the mirror like this. Now turn the screw. It's almost tight and push your rubber boot down. Now, they're not tight enough. I don't have the actual wrench, but that's how it would look. So, and then we have the basket here. The basket comes with a, uh, 
That's one thing you'll have to do. There's your owner's manual. I'm not going to be able to do this now because I don't have to. But you have your screws here and your basket will mount somewhere over here. I'm not quite sure if it's like this, probably, or down this way, probably down this way. Okay? And here's your screws, and then you will mount your basket on the bottom like this. Okay? So you have your, uh, your basket mount right here for your scooter, everything. So I'm not going to be able to mount that on there now, but it's not hard to mount. So let me take the rest of the plastic out, and let me put my knife back in my pocket. So, folks, this is the Vita, how to take it out of the box. Uh, this is a beautiful scooter, and I'm pretty sure you will enjoy it, because it is a nice, beautiful scooter. Hi, I'm Mark. And my name is Alex. We are a family-owned business for over 25 years. We have many products available, not just what you see in this video. If you would like to learn more, you can call the number below at 800 677 6293 or you can visit us directly at www.marksmobility.com